Welcome to 247 News Flash. In this edition, Ghana's President Stana Adudan Kwa Akufuadu departed Accra for London to participate in a number of events, including the state funeral of Queen Elizabeth II, which happened earlier today. The President and other members of the royal family, world leaders, including members of the Commonwealth, at a number of events during the state funeral for Queen Elizabeth II. The body of 58-year-old security man who was suspected to have been killed last Friday in Wa has been found. He was found buried in a shallow grave on the outskirts of Wa on Sunday by a local search team who informed the police. The rehabilitation Sunyai Airport in the Bunu region is set to commence domestic flight operations from today, Monday, September 19, 2022. The Bono Regional Minister, Ms. Justina Owusu Banahene, disclosed that Passion Air would commence air transport services between Sunyai and Accra four times a week, adding that the reopening of the service would open up the region for rapid economic growth. The World Health Organization has declared an end to Ghana's outbreak of the deadly Malbec virus after more than six weeks without any new cases. Three cases of the virus were recorded in the West African country in late June, killing two people. Malbec is a highly infectious virus, hemorrhagic fever in the same family as Ebola. In business, the Ghana Private Road Transport Union has insisted that, contrary to earlier media reports, there shall be no transport fares increment this week. According to the GPRT, your decision on fare adjustments will be only arrived after meetings with relevant stakeholders this week. This comes on the back of some media reports indicating there was going to be an increase in transport fares from today. The executive director of the Institute of Energy Security, Nana Amuisi III, has hinted that Ghana may begin to buy fuel for 17 Ghana cities at the palms due to the constant depreciation of the local currency. He claims that until the city starts to appreciate, Ghana would continue to benefit little to nothing from the drop in fuel prices at World Mark. On the global front, the final funeral rite for the late British monarch Queen Elizabeth II has been held today at the Westminster Abbey, London. The state funeral began at 11 a.m. local time in the same 13th century church where Elizabeth Alexandra Marwensa was married and had her coronation. Readings were given by religious figures alongside British Prime Minister Liz Truss and Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Patricia Scotland. Nine million people have been told to evacuate their homes as Japan is battered by one of the worst typhoons the country has ever seen, killing two people and close to 100 injured. In Hit, Japan's most sadly island, Kyushu, on Sunday morning and is forecast to pass over the main island of Honshu in the next few days. In sport, Inanke Williams and Nico Williams scored in a game they both featured in for the first time in 42 outings in Atleco Bilbao's 32 win over Rayo Boyacano in Spanish La Liga. Inanke scored Bilbao's first in the 14th minute and Nico scored Ades San Mams in the 33rd minute with both goals sandwiching Oyan San's 28th minute goal in a dominant first half display from Bilbao. The Black Stars began camping today with their first training session ahead of the International Friendly against Brazil on Friday, 23rd September 2022. On Saturday, 17 September 2022, the home-based backroom staff and other officials left Accra for Paris to meet up with other players. In entertainment, Sengani Ifani has finally apologized to Ghana women for describing them as lazy beggars who solely depend on men to survive. According to him, his experiences with the Ghana women were not the best and they liked begging, but upon sober reflection, Nifani has rendered an unqualified apology to Ghana women in a new statement. Rapper Cardi B has been sentenced for her involvement in a 2018 New York strip club brawl after the 29-year-old pleaded guilty in a case filed against her over an altercation with two sisters who were bartenders at a strip club in Queens, New York. The rapper, whose real name is Balekalis Amauza, is to serve 15 days to community service and a three-year full order of protection for two victims in court. Fees. That will be for the news this evening. Thank you for watching.